I'm going to introduce a really interesting piece of technology, the ZGA box. It's a shared set-top box system. What's great about this product is that once I've hooked in my different signals, whether it's for my Android TV, Apple TV, or so on and so forth, I can share with anybody I choose by using my phone and hooking to anywhere in the world. What's great about this as well is if I wanted to hook to my cottage or if I wanted to hook it up to a second TV set in a different location, which isn't licensed or whatever. Also, other people who are also using these devices, we can share with each other. So I could send my favorite program and share with my friends. And on top of that, we can actually chat with each other through the chat application in my application on my phone. Fantastic. Now if I'm traveling and somebody, like, oh gosh, I'm not home to watch something I want to see, a sporting event for example. Well, quite easily through here I could just access it via my phone because it's on the internet. Very, very powerful product. Now, let's dive in and set it up and then later see how it works. Uh, let's see what comes inside the box. I open up the box, nice packaging, QR code to get a hold of the company. Uh, let's take a look inside. Nice and separated, nice little documentation. Ah, very clear, very clear. Giving you all the different devices here. Uh, got the cabling, nicely packaged, power cord. Let's just take a look at the box itself. Wow, this is, this is sweet, really nice. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to just take a look at the cabling inside here. We've got some cabling. Now, in order to set this up, Let's just see how easy it is to set up the ZJ box, shall we? First, I just plug in my power, nicely goes in here. Next, I'm going to use my Android box and I'm going to connect the HDMI cable from the Android box to my ZJ box. And now, for any TV I have at home, I just connect off my ZJ box via my HDMI cable. Next, I'm going to add my IR cable. And this will enable me so that I can program my application to run off of the Android box. There we go, nicely connected. And as well, I can now connect this using an Ethernet cable to any Ethernet device that I have through my Ethernet hub. That's all you need to do. Now, let's take a look at downloading the application. Next, you download the My TV application from your App Store. Once you've downloaded the application, you simply scan the QR code from the back of the ZJ box. This will bind it to your phone and your application. Now, we're ready to program our phone. Now, let's program our ZJ box. First of all, I just simply press the up arrow key for three seconds. After three seconds, a red light occurs, and at that stage, I will now press my controller for three seconds, and there we go, and now it's programmed. Similarly, I'm going to repeat the same steps with all the other directions, the menu button, as well as the return button. Once we've done that, we're ready to go. Wherever your Android box is located, you can hook up to the local TV. Now, this program doesn't look very interesting to me. However, I could, let's see if there's anything else around here. I could just use my device here. Oh, oh, football game, soccer game, that sounds pretty good. Okay, maybe I'll watch this. Now, wherever you are in the world, it really doesn't matter which uh, location you're at. But you're able to look at any particular program, whether it be on your iPad, on your phone, on your computer, or any device, in fact, which is hooked up so to the internet and you're using the application. So it makes this very, very powerful. So for example, if I'm traveling from the U.S. to South America, I could continue to watch my football games, my NFL or my uh, baseball or so on and so forth, no matter where I am across the world. Very, very powerful.